This is the Rico 35S. But first, last week I asked you guys to go ahead and write me any questions you had or anything like that, and <laughs> the response has been kind of crazy. I'm actually surprised because I only have one subscriber. But anyway, all right, let's look at the first letter. Dear Mick, your father and I are so proud. Okay, that one's from my mom. We'll skip that one. Um, here we go. <clears throat> Dear Mick, I really am enjoying the channel so far. Can you please remember to smile more often? You look so cute when you smile. Okay, okay, all right. I like that. You are such a handsome and special boy. Love, Mom. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. Okay, this one's not from my mom. Dear Mick, I think you should comb your hair once in a while. It's getting kind of out of hand. All right, well, I didn't need comments on my appearance. I meant comments on, like, the channel. How's it doing? Is Are there any cameras you guys want to see me talk about or go shoot with? That kind of thing. But, all right. Uh, I would love to see an ep Okay, I would love to see an episode in which you shoot with the Nikon F. Okay, the original one. That's kind of cool. I don't actually have that camera, but I will get one. All right, continuing on. Keep up the good work. I'm so proud of you. P.S. It's your father's birthday. Are you coming over for dinner? All right. <laughs> Dear Mick, fuck you. <laughs> All right, that's a good one. Dear Mick, even though your YouTube isn't very good, I like seeing people fail, so I keep watching because it gets worse and worse. How is it that you have actually lost subscribers? Well, the joke's on you because I only had one subscriber, so that's not really a big deal. So that was a pretty bad idea. Uh, I think we'll stick to camera stuff for now on because that didn't go so well, but uh, anyway, so Rico 35S. Now important to note is this is the 35S, not, there is also a regular 35S, I think that came later on. So when I first got this camera, it actually came bundled in with a bunch of other cameras and right away I was actually really impressed. I'm like, this is a pretty nice camera. It's not a high-end camera. It's a little bit more obscure. They're not really well known, uh, but it's actually a surprisingly good camera. The first thing I noticed actually was that the viewfinder is pretty reasonable. It's not Leica M3 bright patch, but it's pretty good. Um, I really liked the build quality. The thing is you go back with these old cameras and even the lower end cameras had a much higher build quality than what we have today. So build quality, pretty decent. Now, here's an interesting thing about this camera. It has a advanced knob at the top here, but also built in is this arm that lets you advance the film as well. So what you kind of do is pop it out. It's a nice spot for your thumb and you can go ahead and advance it that way. It actually is pretty handy. You get used to it. Um, when I was shooting, I kind of, you know, kind of picked up the flow really quickly. It feels very natural. It's interesting that having an advanced lever was actually novel at the time. So interesting. Other things, it has these like rabbit ears kind of on the side that help you focus. It's not the most attractive thing about this camera, but it's actually pretty usable. You know, other cameras like, let's say the Canonet and a lot of the, those rangefinders had a little arm, a little knob, whatever, that let you focus. This one has two. So you kind of, kind of, you know, you choose what works best for you. So in order to open the camera, you just move it to the open position on each of these wheels, and then you can pop it open like so. I've shot one roll on this camera. I shot in color. It's kind of hard to really judge the quality of the images that come out of this camera because I shot on, I didn't shoot on a pro film, I shot on a pretty standard Fuji film, and then I processed it in expired chemicals with a not random time, but I kind of guesstimated that seven minutes would do it. The thing about color chemicals is every time you use it, um, you exhaust it a little bit more. It doesn't make it unusable, but you have to add time to it. And what I had done is I had a lot, I didn't keep track of how many I processed with those chemicals, and 
I just kind of guessed how many and compensated for the fact that I was using expired film and that kind of thing. So the images aren't spectacular, but they came out reasonably well. Uh, I would note a lot of what appears to be out of focus is because I think of the chemical process. You just, it doesn't look sharp because of that. It doesn't mean I missed my focus. When I was shooting with this camera, I actually noticed that the rangefinder patch was slightly out of alignment. It was an out of alignment. It was out of alignment, but it doesn't mean you couldn't get your focus. You just kind of had like, the patch was not in alignment basically vertically. Horizontally it worked so I could focus with it, but once I was focused, I kind of had a double image still, but it still worked. In any case, what I did is I just chose to shoot with zone focusing. I started to get used to that because I've been shooting with the Rolly 35 and I've got my my Vito, which is also a range, a um, scale focusing camera. So that's pretty much it. I think that's a good rundown of this camera. Would I get it? I wouldn't go out of my way getting this camera, but if you guys want a really decent rangefinder, that's probably not it might be hard to find because I don't think there's that many of them, but it's not a high value camera and you would have a lot of fun shooting with it. It's a surprisingly high quality camera. So I'll do a full review when I go out and really shoot with this. I want to try black and white film on it next. I think some of these older lenses look a little bit different when you shoot color. So even if they're color corrected, they have a different look than a modern lens. So that could also be a factor. I might also shoot some studio work with it. Then we can really know the quality of what comes out of this camera. I'll shoot studio work, I will process it in fresh chemicals, and um, yeah, it should, we'll see. We'll get a better idea of how these images look, and I'll include that when I fully review it. So I'll see you guys on the next one.